Well, check that out. She got caught shoplifting. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Well, hello there. It's your boy Burf. When I only met Cryptastic Sums. <laughs> yes, we are at Plaza Thrift in McKinney, Texas. Bright and early on a Saturday morning. And we're about to head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. You know, I've been on this little streak lately of finding vintage toys in the thrift stores, which is just absolutely making my day, man. It's, this has been a great year of thrifting. It's been a great week, but it's been a great year overall. I found a lot of vintage toys this year so far, and we're only halfway through the year, not even quite that uh, far yet. So anyway, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray. Now the vintage craptastic Sam's gods are good to me today. Right, we got any goodies in the glass case? Oh, that's cool. I had that game as a kid. All right, I'm not really seeing anything else. All right, let's see. What do we got? Uh, nothing in this bag. That's an interesting looking dinosaur. Hmm. Oh, hey, we've got a little vintage Imagine Next figure right here. That's like uh, early 2000s. All right. Oh, there's a guy right there, too. Oh, I don't know what he is, actually. It's kind of cool, though. And what do we got here? Yeah. Mm, nothing. We've got another dinosaur. Oh, baby doll. What's back here? Looks like some Disney stuff. All right, what do we got? We got a Batgirl. And nothing else, really. Oh, looky, what do we got here? We've got, that looks like a 1980s Muppet Baby. Oh, look, and then we've got some Smurfs. I'll get you, I'll get all of you, if it's the last thing I ever do! <laughs> right here, and right here, this one has a telephone. What else is in here? Uh, something Sesame Street, but... Alright, let's grab this bag, there's a little action figure dude. Something right there. Oh, look at these. These look old. Oh, let, me, let me grab this bag. Oh, yeah, check that out. All right, I might have to investigate these. All right, guys, that's it for Baggy Land. Let's go check the shelves. All right, what do we got here? Some bears with busted arms. All right, who's this dude? FGTV. I'll check out this creepy looking clown. Hmm. Looks like we've got a, a lightsaber here. It's kind of a nice one. I like the handle on it. And we've got Batman. Check out this blaster. Looks like something from uh, Flash Gordon. Hey, check this out, it actually works. Oh, look at this thing. What is this? It's Darth Maul's lightsaber. <laughs> I don't know, is it? Oh wow, look at this old robot phone. Does it have the, let's see. Oh, check that out. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> I think I gotta get that. Yeah, this little dude definitely needs some tender loving care. And I'm not interested in whether or not it works or not, which I'm sure it doesn't. But it's just so cool, man. I love robots and this will make a great display piece in the bunker. All right, what do we, what do we got here? Oh, dropping stuff everywhere. What do we got here? got a transformer but he appears to be missing some parts and what's in the bag nothing check this dude out <laughs> oh, 
Oh, ooh, dang. <laughs> that was all like uh, very slick, man. Just walk up, you know, just walk up to the side of this thing. Knock, knock, knock. Hello, mother effer. <laughs> and what do we got here? Firehouse playset. All right, we got a T-Rex or something with a busted arm. Lots of broken stuff today. Dang, look at the size of this tower. It must be Rapunzel's tower, huh? Oh, check out this place set. Let's flip this around. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Nice. Oh, and it looks like you can change out the muzzle on it, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Plains Hideaway TP. Oh, wow. Well, and, uh, oh, they went 50 bucks for that. Okay. I'll check this dude out. Oh, wow. Well, it's like a King Kong. I mean, it's it's not a King Kong, but it could very easily be used as a King Kong. Four bucks? Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab this. So it turns out this thing is actually a vintage coin bank. Let's see, there we go. Let me, let me get them going here. Gotta pull down. That's pretty suggestive. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we're gonna put him back. He's only worth about 10 bucks. So not gonna grab him today, but we are gonna get the Kong and we're gonna get this bag with the Smurfs and stuff in it. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna get the robot phone just because it's cool. All right, guys, we got a haul. I picked up some records, you know, I bought that record player recently and uh, I've been needing some records for it and I got me some John Denver I got me some big band era uh, like you know the twist um, anyway uh, I got that and uh, also check this out like she accidentally rung uh, up the wrong like the numbers and the bill came to like thirty seven hundred dollars <laughs> Uh, just a little mistake. I told her, I was like, dang, I'm gonna have to take a bank loan to shop here. So, all right, let's jump in here real quick and do a little show and tell before we hit up the next door. All right, so we were already looking at this dude. He's just a gorilla, but he's really big. He's made out of rubber. It was four bucks, I think, right? Yeah, but I thought he'd make a pretty cool King Kong and maybe make for some really awesome photo shoots with some of my action figures but so i got this guy and even though i know this guy doesn't work and i'm never gonna use the phone or anything like that i mean he uses landlines anyway but uh and he's a little beat up i couldn't resist him man i just think he's like i think he's the cat's meow <laughs> so you know the phone just kind of goes on the little hook here in the back and i just thought it would be a really cool display piece in my toy room, which is what I call the bunker. And he was only a buck 91, so I'm gonna clean him up, you know, try to make him shine again and uh, put him with the rest of my robots. But yeah, so I got this guy and I got some records. The best of Artie Shaw. This is uh, jazz music. I'm a fan of jazz. And then we got If the Big Bands Were Here Today. So this is like big band era music. Um, you can see here The Twist by Hank Ballard. Calcutta, Exodus, so Moon River. So I thought this would be cool. And uh, this thing is still, is actually still sealed. So I'm gonna have to bust it open though and play some music. And then I got Mr. John Denver. May he rest in peace. So yeah, I got these three records. And I ended up with this batch of vintage smalls. Hey, check out this coal miner. I dig that. My dad was a coal miner for 17 years, so I'll definitely hold on to that. And we've got some Smurfs here with the telephone. We've got Greedy Smurf with his cake. I don't know what this bear is or 
what he's doing. But anyway, we got a Spider-Man, a couple Spider-Man over here. And then we got this uh, Cabbage Patch thing from like 1993. And we got some Disney and we got some Sesame Street. We've got uh, Kermit the Frog from Muppet Babies. He's vintage, he's from the 80s. And then we've got Fred Flintstone and Dino. And I believe these were like cereal box toys, you know, like toys that came inside boxes of cereal. So I thought those were pretty cool. So that is my haul from Craptastic Sam's. Man, it's starting to get hot in here. I'm gonna have to turn on the air in a second. All right, up next, let's go hit up the thrift store. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the thrift store. All right, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed. We're gonna pray that those vintage thrift gods are good to me today. Uh, you know, they gave me a little blessing there with those vintage Smurfs and the vintage Kermit the Frog from Muppet Babies. So, and the, of course, the phone, right? The robot phone. So we're already finding favor with the gods, with the thrift gods. <laughs> All right, so let's keep our fingers crossed and see what they got in here, you know? Hopefully they got some good stuff. What do we got here? Let's see, we got a trash can. SpongeBob. Nothing else really. Anything here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. There's a mech suit. That's kind of cool. What else is in this bag? Uh, looks like a turtle, but maybe like a McDonald's one. And what's this? Looks like we got a transformer, but he's missing an arm. Dinosaur, a lion. A lion's kind of cool. Right, we got a soldier force jeep. All right, what do we got here? Got an action figure. We got a bigger lion. And there's another figure, another lion. Looks like we have the uh, a knight's horse. Look, you stupid bastard! You've got no arms left. Yes, I have. Just a flesh wound. I just don't think that's worth getting. It looks like we got two horses in there actually for five bucks. Oh, we've got a maiden warrior. I don't know who this guy is, but he does look vintage. Oh, and check out this guy with his city camo. This bag actually has some decent stuff in it. All right, guys, I wasn't gonna get it at first, but I think there's enough cool stuff in here that if I did wanna flip it, I mean, it's five bucks, I could probably flip everything in here for 20 bucks. Um, but there might be some stuff I wanna hold on to. So I'm gonna snag it. All right, guys, so there's a lot of stuff in here. So we're gonna go home and do a little show and tell and take a better look at what's in the bag. But in the meantime, we're gonna go hit up Goody Will. All right, my friends, we are here. <laughs> What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully, yeah, I got some of that Vint Vint, <laughs> vintage toys. All right, fingers crossed, vintage Goodwill gods be good to me today. Let's walk out of here with an epic score. Check these out. Those are cool. A little pricey though. I'll well, check that out. She got caught shoplifting. You do the crime, you pay the time. All right, in the meantime, let's see what we got. Oh, what's this? Starlink, you know what? I've seen these Starlink things at Dollar Tree. I just thought they were a dollar store. Oh, this is for Xbox One. Okay, well, that's cool. I wonder if it's worth anything. Well, it's not worth much. Uh, they sell for about 12 bucks. They want eight for this. I mean, I guess if you're gonna buy it and keep it for your system, it's a deal. But for somebody that's looking to flip it, it's just not really worth it. Check this candy bowl out. That is awesome. And wash UCP. I was checking to see if I could see who it was made by. I'll investigate. Thing. 
you know, with what's going on in this economy right now with prices being the way they are and inflation, not to get all political and stuff, but like, I think you're gonna see more of that. I mean, this is at a thrift store, stealing at a thrift store even, so. Anyway, all right, well, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna head home and we're gonna do a little show and tell. All right, guys, we're back at the bunker. Let's take a look at what I got. All right, so this is what was inside that bag over at the thrift store. Most of this stuff is like medieval knights and whatnot, right? And horses, but there's some other cool things in here. Like this little cage kind of reminds me of the cage that they put Mad Mardigan in in the movie Willow. So I thought that would be something I could put in my 1994 Fisher Price castle. Maybe kind of hang it from the hook, from with a string from the hook there and then put somebody in it. And so I got that and then this dude right here actually looks like he's been mauled by these lions. I'm keeping him because I think I'm gonna do a little customization and I'm gonna put like some you know, scars and wounds, like uh, open wounds on his head with some blood coming out of it and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool. These lions actually have articulation, which is, uh, so his body twists like this, but um, the other guy, so his body twists and his back legs actually move. It's hard to do it with one hand. I should get a tripod, um, but anyway, you can see that you know his legs do move and then this guy here he's actually kind of weird looking he actually looks like he's got like human arms so but his arms move like this right so he's got these big paws on it but he's got some articulation there his uh back legs do not move so it's like his back legs don't move but his front arms do his front arms don't move or actually maybe they do oh yeah they do they do my bad, they do move a little bit and so do his back legs. So we got these two lions and then over here, man, I'm really digging this maiden warrior. That's what I'm dubbing her. So I think she's really cool. Let's bring her out here a little bit. I don't know if this is the horse that she actually goes with, but I thought she looked pretty good on it. So I'm gonna leave her on that horse. And then we've got this horse over here, a couple of uh, military guys. Um, this guy here, I don't know, he might actually be a GI Joe. Maybe some of you can help me out if you recognize him. He kind of reminds me of like a 25th anniversary Joe. And then this thing right here, check this out. So this thing actually has some firing action. So let's back up a little bit. Nice. All right, so this was the medieval action figure haul that I pulled out of the thrift store today. And uh, like I said, some of this stuff I think I might actually keep, I'm trying to get him set back up here. <laughs> um, some of this stuff I might actually keep, but I think I'm gonna put it in a little lot and put it on Facebook Marketplace and maybe see if I can sell it for 15, 20 bucks. So that was my haul from the thrift store, but you guys also know that I picked up some records today. <laughs> so I've got my record player back here. So I thought we'd throw a few of these on there and give them a quick listen on the old turntable. So let's check out some of the records that I got. All right, first up, we got a little John Denver. So let's put that on there. All right, so we got some John Denver. Up next, we've got the Bernie Lowe Orchestra. And this is titled, The Big Bands. If the big bands were here today, It's kind of chill. I'm digging it.
<laughs> yeah, it's just super chill music, right? I also got the best of Artie Shaw. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of the type of music they would play on Tom and Jerry. Yeah, that's totally like Tom and Jerry type music. I wonder if he actually did the music for Tom and Jerry. I'll have to look that up. I could listen to that type of music all night long. I love that kind of music. All right, well, hey. If you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That would really help me out. It helps me out a lot more than you know. When YouTube sees that you like my stuff, they tend to show it to more people that will probably like my stuff. So their algorithm goes to work. So give me a, uh, a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. And in the meantime, check out this next video. I know you're going to love it.